Man, what the hell was someone thinking trying to scam me? Alright, look. I recently got into selling random things on Facebook Marketplace because it's honestly... I never knew about it before. I knew people in the family that had sold it and they were tell, sold items there and they were telling me like, yeah, it's a good place to sell stuff. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. And I'm just selling like old like toys from the kids that we don't use anymore and stuff like that. And it's great that people can come to your house, pick it up, whatever. So someone contacts me about an item that I have for sale today. Um, they contacted me today about an item that I have for sale and it's much the typical thing of like, hey, um, I want this item. And I'm like, okay, you can come get it. And I'll put a screen cap here of how the conversation started. So it doesn't look too suspect right at all, except for the part about asking for my cell phone number. And I'm like... That's kind of weird. I don't need to talk to the person. They can just, you know, get the address from me, come by the house, pick it up, and we'll be done. So I faked saying, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on another call, but I can just leave it out front for you. So then they went to this. Okay. Now... I gave them my cell phone number only because that's something that I've done before if someone wanted to say, hey, I want to call you before I come over just to make sure the item's still there. Because sometimes I'll be like, a couple other people are interested in the item. If they're coming to get it and they get it before you, sorry. So sometimes people want to know. So just giving out my number over Facebook Marketplace isn't, you know, you know a trade secret or something. Um, it, Whatever. Whatever someone does with my cell phone number, it's not the end of the world. If I have to get a new one, it's no big deal. <clears throat> but then they said, I'm going to send you a Google verification code to prove that I'm, a, I'm not a fake account. And right away I'm going like, oh, hold on a second. What do you mean you need a Google verification code? So they text, the, the, they, they get the Google verification code generator to send me a code and even when you get that code from Google, it says don't share this code with anyone. It has nothing to do with proving that you're a fake account. But it just goes to show that it's something so easy to do. And what people don't know, um, and let me put up a little screen cap here real quick. So basically how the scam works is you get the Google Voice access code. Someone backdoors the system by accessing your phone number by going through a computer. They don't need your cell phone or anything like that. They can use this to basically portray themselves as you to open up other accounts, to scam other people with your information and do it very easily. But it is a scam. And there's so many people out there that would be so unsuspecting of this. And one of the reasons why I didn't fall for it for a second and why I started, and I'll put some screen caps up in a little bit of the back and forth I had with this guy because I, I love the whole scammer scene here on YouTube. I follow channel, like Kit, Kit Boga. I, I love his content. I've been watching him for years. But anyway, um, I, I, I like these people um, that make these these videos where they they'll 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 get scammers on the line they'll waste their time and one of the things that they do is is try to prolong their conversation as long as possible because the logic with that is the longer you have a scammer on the line is the less um, is less amount of time they have to actually scam someone out of their 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 money their identity etc and so i just i just started going back and forth with this clown as you see here
Okay, I didn't exactly waste all day talking to the clown, but, you know, at least 30 minutes of his day. But anyways, um, I had better, bigger things to do today than talk to some schmuck trying to get my Google voice code out of me. But this just goes to show you how easy something like this is to pull off. Like, this didn't take much time or effort out of this person's day. And th trust me, there will be a lot of people out there that would have just said, oh, I guess I do have to give him that code to verify it's me. Yeah, that sounds... You want a code? Like, I get texted codes all the time, and I have to verify things with a website that texts me and stuff like that. So it's like the process is what people will oversee their foresight with by going like the process of like oh i lost my password they send me a code i send back that verification code that proves it's me why wouldn't this person need something different but no it's not the same so anyways um people be more careful than i was because i should have seen this coming way sooner than when i did uh, luckily, all they got out of me is my cell phone number, which the most they can do is, you know, put it on gay message boards or whatever. Not that it's already there. What? Anyway. Um, and one thing that I should have checked on is the person's account. Their Facebook account was created minutes <laughs> before this, the, 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 them wanting to, to get my item for sale. And I'm like, oh my God, I should have checked that first thing. Like once, once everything became very suspect, I went and I checked their profile. I was like, oh my God, this profile was created 15 minutes ago. Like, come on, Archfiend. You, you fell into this way farther than you should have. So anyways, my advice out there is be more careful than I was. Because honestly, I shouldn't have got duped as far as I was. But hey, they didn't get that verification code out of me. And it's, it's a real scam and just, you know... I don't trust people when they ask for stuff like that. If it's a person, man, I mean, if you're on an actual Google site and you have to give a verification code, that's one thing. If it's a person trying to say like, oh, prove it's me. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's people lose foresight because they just, they know the process instead. Like, you know, that, that, that. And that's what sucks about it is people are just so used to that process of, oh, I lost my password. Then the website sent me a, 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 a four digit code. So then I sent that code back and that helped me get the password because I proved it was me. But it's like, no, that's not how it works between two individuals, between a company and you. Yes. OK. Yeah, I understand that. But um, anyways, just it was fascinating to be part of the scammer scene here, man. Part of the community that I love to watch here on YouTube. Wow. And I'm actually, I actually got a scam attempt done on me. Wow. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, but just be, be careful because it, 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 it's scary how easy this was. Like this is so, so easy to do. And again, so many people are going to lose for, foresight at the expense of just doing the process as usual. Like, I mean... If, if you have any doubts that someone's like a bot account, and you, you, you want to prove that they're real, tell them, you know, tell me the answer of two plus two, but give me the wrong answer. Like, you know, do something like that. A computer won't know to give you the wrong answer. But anyway, I don't know. Just there's any of many ways to prove that someone is, is a real account. But anyways, your boy Archfiend almost got scammed out of. Who knows what could have happened from that information? Like I said, they take that information, they create account, they try to create accounts or identities with your identity and information, pull your information off your Google accounts, they can get access to credit card numbers, etc. And it's not that hard to do. Man, that is an easy scam. It's just it's just scary. And I'm just trying to raise awareness of this because it happened to me. It just happened to me. And I want people to know and see how easy that actually is to pull off. And it's, again, it was it was scary to see that it almost happened to me. But your boy ain't that dumb. Someone asked me, why does my head look like a light bulb? Someone replied with, because I'm so bright. That is all.